Hello, my name is Garx82 and welcome back to our Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode series. I am just on a quest to find cinnamon and uh, I have indeed managed to find some cinnamon. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's like the bark. It's not stuff hanging. And uh, I found it in a tropical biome. We're in a tropical rainforest right now. I'm just going to go ahead and chop that down. I don't know. Yeah, it just gives you jungle wood. I actually don't need jungle wood. So I'll just leave that. But uh, it wasn't uh, the easiest to find. <laughs> As we can see, I went really far north, found a desert. So I was like, oh, maybe it'll be south. And I got cold biomes down here. I uh, just kind of went around and then explored a bit and then decided to go this way because this grove seemed like it was a bit more humid and we ended up finding this over here. There is a nuclear wasteland over there. Uh, I haven't really ventured in there. I have heard from when I was playing uh, Dungeon Dragon Space Shuttles uh, that there could be possibly like radiation, but I don't know if it's actually turned on in in this mod, uh, in this mod pack, I don't know if the radiation, the nuclear craft radiation is turned on in that thing. A peacock? I think it is. I saw a white one earlier. And some parrots too. I was gonna grab, uh, yeah, I was gonna grab some cocoa boons. I don't know if we're gonna need them while we're over here, but I figured, why not? Cocoa beans. Where did that? Yeah, there's the peacock. Wow, look at that. That is really cool. This mod has some really, really cool looking animals for sure. I definitely think uh looks cool. Uh, I've gone ahead and picked a couple gardens, not a whole lot, because uh I haven't found the ones that we need. Just at that. I think that's just like cattails or yeah, sea oats or something like that. I figured that was just from Biomes are plenty. All right, uh, let me run back. Is this? This is. All right, I also got some olive saplings because I remember, I don't think it was Enigmatica. I have a feeling it was um, Dungeons and Dragons and Space Shells. You need an olive tree, and I remember it being a real pain to find. So I saw one, and I immediately chopped it down, but I don't know if it's going to be needed in this. But uh, yeah, I guess let me run back. I'm gonna keep looking. I didn't see any coconuts. Unfortunately, we do need coconut. I don't know if that's like a naturally spawning one. It doesn't look like. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually. I guess it would spawn. Maybe I could look in that. If anything, it would be in a hot biome or a humid biome, wouldn't it? Uh, let me do a little more searching around here. See if we can find a coconut. I see like a volcano over there. And um, we'll head back. I've seen some yeah, persimmons and stuff. I've seen some kind of tropical-like fruit. Dates and stuff. So, I mean, this definitely feels like coconuts would spawn in here. Is that banana? Yeah, it is banana. <laughs> nice. So we're getting... What is that one? I thought those were those those one cinder pearls or whatever that give you... Uh... Oh, papaya. It's a papaya tree. Nice. Why is that on fire? Oh, because of the, uh, the lava right there. I think these are pecans? Pistachio. Yeah. All right, let me do a little more searching around, see if I can find some coconut. So I think this is where we'd find it. And uh, I'll meet you back at base. I see you with the nano armor. All right, we are back and I did manage to find some coconut. Uh, it wasn't too difficult. I found it like kind of right after, uh, right after I quit recording. And uh, I just noticed that sugar cane, so I figured I would pick that. Um, found a couple soggy gardens while uh, traveling around. Uh, they were kind of by the water. At, and I planted these because I know uh, the gardens spread. I don't know if that, like, is a config 
But, uh, I figured we could throw... Actually, let me break one and I'll leave one and see if it... I just didn't want to break it while I was running around and filling up my thing. I did want... What was I trying to get from that? I was trying to get... Ah, rice. That's right. Yeah, rice. Um, and, like, a spice leaf would be good, too. So, I'll leave that. Hopefully, they will expand a little bit. Um, it could be right away. It could take forever. But, uh, we'll see. Um, I got a couple frost gardens as well. Don't know if any of this will be. Well, oh, juices and stuff. Spinach can be helpful. Oh, I got cotton. That's good. A lot of the stuff we're just going to throw in here. Man, I swear, every time I play with Pams, there is more and more stuff that I have not seen. Like, I don't remember ever seeing quinoa. I don't, I don't even... Kohlrabi? I don't think I've actually ever heard of that, so... Actually... We'll keep the sugar in there, but I'm going to plant a bunch more. I think I'm going to plant this cotton as well. Yeah, I think cotton. Plant that. Can that just go? I actually don't know. Can that just go in a thing? We don't really need beets. I heard you. Who's in here? Oh, there's that copper wire to emeralds thing. You know, I was just thinking, like, I was like, oh, the market, I don't have any emeralds. Hello, I'm in a village. <laughs> Why don't I just, uh... Why don't I just uh, get some emeralds and then I can just buy these things? Winter Frost Garden. What? There was something in that. I don't remember. I may have just picked it up just in case. Uh, let's do. I'll plant this one as well. Oh, look. Hello, spider. And we'll see if that. That spreads it all. All right. Um, also, came back and got tired of some of the mobs underneath the base. I dug down, and there is a cave system underneath, which I kind of expected with the mobs. Um, it's quite a large cave system. I haven't cleared it all out, but I cleared a little bit just so I there wasn't so many mobs on my mini map. All right. Uh, a couple things though, I need to do. I need to get. Some cinnamon trees here, and I need to get coconut tree going. So I think that's it, right? Yeah, coconut sapling, cinnamon sapling. All right. Um, the other thing is I need to figure out where the heck am I going to live? Where do I want to live? Somewhere... I don't know. I really don't know. I'm bad about picking. Is that my... Is that my home beacon? Oh, that's where I died. <laughs> yeah, I died. Uh, of course. Uh, I got sniped by a, a zombie in um, nano armor. So I'm just... Uh, I was just thinking because these saplings, I'm like, I guess we'll just plant them right here for now. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just get them, uh, get them, like, growing so we can start harvesting that a little bit. All right, and then we'll figure out, I don't know if we're going to, are bees, like, are career bees in this? Heard a zombie. Let's sleep. We can stop the rain. Right, 
There we go. And we got a compressed skeleton on our, our mini map. I need to do a little more exploring, but uh, yeah, I died by a zombie and I was like, okay, I'm done. All right, so we got, yeah, we got the coconut, we got the cinnamon, and uh, I think that's about as much time I'm going to spend, oh, it's right here, uh, on that. I need spice leaf and rice, which are from that soggy thing. I'm really curious if that, uh, the garden's spread in this. I don't know for sure, but, uh, yeah, cinnamon, we got the garlic. I need to go plant that. So we're looking pretty good here. All right, so I think today, I think today we're going to get a little bit into immersive, I think. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think we're going to get, progress a little bit into immersive, yeah. Should we do kinetic dynamo, get some water wheels going maybe? Let's see what's in this. Robust Twilight Oak Sapling. Epic. I can hear... I can hear zombies. Where are you? Are you, like, attacking something? Are you in here? I feel like you're in this, like... hill. Right here. Um, right, yeah, I guess we'll do... Uh, blaze powder, that's right. Let me figure out what I want to do, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, we are back, and uh, I decided, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and progress a little bit in immersive. I do want to push towards some more tech kind of mods, uh, mechanism, but to get mechanism, we're going to need uh, steel. So steel, obviously, we need a blast furnace from Immersive Engineering. So that is definitely one thing we're gonna need. Uh, but we're gonna need blaze powder for that. So we need, what, nine? Yeah, we'll need nine blaze powder for that. And uh, in my travels to find a humid biome, I did find a uh, desert. So I kind of searched the desert a little bit. And then I was like, yeah, it's probably gonna be more dry biomes up here. I don't know if that's actually like a thing. like if they go by latitudes. I remember that in one mod pack. It was like, farther north you went, the drier, colder the biomes kind of thing. So anyway, I kind of searched a little bit and then I ended up coming back. Um, but there is a, a dragon thing over there, so I'm gonna steer clear of that. But I'm over here because, this so weekend. Grab some, what is that? Taste and toughness. What is that? I don't know what that is. Do we have a bucket? I have a bucket. Is that like petrothium? Platonic petrothium, yeah, from thermal. I'm just gonna throw that back. Um looking for cinder oh there it is. Cinder pearls. From Bombcraft. Because you can pretty sure you can get Yeah, place butter from that. So we need nine of these, hopefully. Is that a goat? That was a goat, wasn't it? And there's a, a farm over there. Uh, do these, can you eat these? I thought you could eat these. Cactus terrarium. <laughs> oh, you can smell it in the green. That's cool. Um, I don't actually know if we need anything from the arid garden, do we? Chickpeas, lentils. No, I don't think we do. Uh, cactus is fine. Oh, there's a bunch over here. Nice. Oh, here's one. So, yeah, definitely going to be a bit easier than going to uh, the nether right away. I am definitely not prepared for the nether. So we need, what, three more? Can these be, like... No. They can't be, like, pulverized or anything. Really? <laughs> that rabbit just committed suicide. 
That was sad. Alright, but uh, this is a pretty big desert, thankfully. What, what is this? I feel like if I step on over here, I'm going to blow up. What is this? What are you? I have an axe in my hand. Why am I doing it that way? Alright, I feel like this is something, and I have no idea what that is. What is a nature core? I have no idea what a nature core is. From random things. Hmm. We'll just put you right back. Do we need to add... We need to add a jungle leaf thing there. Looks like it's like a missing a block. All right, well. I guess we'll take melon and pumpkin. The other stuff doesn't. Maybe vines, just because that's more annoying to find. All right, uh, let me finish finding some of these cinder pearls. I am not seeing. Oh, there they are. Nice. So I'm going to go grab those over here, and then we will head back to the base. I need to... I'm just thinking, do we need anything from mobs? Oh, hello. Let's get this and get out of here. I saw the dragon over there. Yeah, I don't think I need anything from mobs quite yet. So I'm just going to sleep, and then we'll meet back at the base. Right, we are back, and uh, I need, I was looking at the recipe for the brick, was it blast brick? Yeah, blast brick, let's throw that over there. Um, and we do need nether bricks, unfortunately, but just going to the nether and getting nether bricks is much easier than going to fight uh, the uh, blaze, trying to find blaze, so... I need, what do we need? We need nine times four, so 36 of that. And we need 36, I'm assuming I can just smelt this, right? Yeah, uh, that. So I need like obsidian to get to the nether portal and you can actually create obsidian. I don't remember where I got this obsidian. I have one obsidian in my thing. I don't remember where I got that, but uh, you can actually get it in a stone barrel with some lava, that's the ex nilio. And, uh, yeah, Stone Barrel apparently uses a block of obsidian, which is kind of cool. I just happen to have that. I don't know where I got it from, but uh, let's turn that into blaze powder. So there's those. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to run over to that pool of lava, which is actually pretty convenient. That actually just made me jump. <laughs> that squid made me jump. It looked like a spider for a second. Uh, that was funny. I just jumped out of my skin because of a squid. Right. I probably have not <laughs> gone the most efficient way here. Man, these just one block leaves are pretty annoying in this biome for sure. All right, where is this? Right over here. All right, so what we're gonna do is, how about right there? Should probably sleep. So we uh, don't get mobs spawning on us. Grab some water. It's actually kind of convenient. The water's right there. All right, and then we can just right click in there to get the obsidian. I'll probably just leave this barrel over here. Need 10 for the another portal. And then I'll grab like, I don't know how much, I'll grab one extra just in case we need to make another stone barrel. So, all right, this will be enough obsidian. 
for the portal. Yes, I hear you, sheep. And then, uh, man, I haven't looked at... I'm assuming flint and steel is just iron. Like the normal one. It's, I haven't even looked, to be honest. Flint and steel. Yeah, just a normal thing. All right, why don't we put the portal lake over here? Kind of away from the base. That's where I want to put it. Right there. That works, right? Looks like a creeper explosion. All right. Let's go make the flint and steel. Oh, we got, we got coconut. Don't have bark yet. I think it needs to, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think that's fully grown yet. Steel. And some iron. That will get us to the nether. And then with that, we can get our nether rack. Hopefully, the nether is not too dangerous and we don't spawn in a terrible location. Let me grab some more cobble. Hopefully it's kind of protected. I hate when it spawns like way above lava. Growing sugarcane on rustic's fertile soil doesn't require. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is like absolutely perfect. Cool. All right. Well, we'll just grab a bunch of this. All right, I'm already forgetting. Does this have? All right, it does have vein miner. I couldn't remember. I was like, wait, does it not have vein miner or does it have vein miner? Let's do a quick browse. That's not gold, is it? All right, well, there's glowstone right there. Isn't that like bone? I, oh, I saw a bunch of bone when I was when I was uh, exploring too. I was thinking about getting that for bone meal in case we need it. All right, I'm just gonna grab a couple ores because I see them right here. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do too much exploring. And that made me jump a little bit, not gonna lie. Exploding ores. Not really looking forward to that. All right, so that is, yeah, that's why I got that, because I remember that was, or that, I did think it was, oh, you can get both. Um, I do need to find cobalt. Should we find, let me find some cobalt while I'm here, and uh, then we'll head back, and we will set up the... Oh, it's right there. Please don't explode. All right, nice. All right, let's just head back then. And uh, is there a way to stop that exploding thing? Is it silk touch, silky touch? Does that, does that stop it? I can't remember. I don't think I've ever really bothered with that. Stopping the ores from exploding. All right, um, let's do, I don't know. Probably don't need that much. 
All right, uh, let me smelt this stuff up and get the blast bricks smelted or crafted up and uh, we'll come back. And that is all the nether bricks. So let's just go ahead and get this built. Nice. Obviously we have some extra nether brick, but uh, not the end of the world. Um, I'm gonna throw it back here, but I, like I said, quite a few times I need to get figured out where I want to get my base actually built uh, sooner than later because I don't like one I don't really like living outside when there's mobs running up especially when they have armor and two I don't want to like start building farms and stuff when I'm going to move pretty uh, quick here so we got coal coke we got plenty of that I should probably throw some more Well, I have. I thought I had more coal than that, but put that in there. And let's get some iron. Now, what is the? Is it one to one? Actually, don't know. What's the steel ratio? Steel ingots. It's probably. Let's see which one are we? Is this the main one? Yeah. It's just a one to one. Probably easier to do blocks, isn't it? Isn't that? We'll try that. That works, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't know how much uh, coal coke it actually uses, but uh, yeah. All right, so there is going to be our steel. And uh, yeah, steel is pretty important. So that is pretty cool. Cool. Now let's see. Got a loot chest. There is kinetic dynamos, alloy kilns. I remember being pretty helpful. That's just brick and sandstone. And those are what is it? It's a two by two by two. That is what eight bricks. I think I have everything for that. Yeah, like it does. So what do we need? Alloy kiln required? Yeah, eight. So, and you get two, we only need, yeah, we only need like almost nothing. There we go. And this is good for, I remember crafting um, bronze in this. I remember that being helpful. I think that's it, right? Yeah, there we go. And just whatever I get, and then uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, the other way to do it is in the alloy smelter. That is another easy way to do that. Why don't we? I have some bronze here, but why don't we? Was it like twelve? And is it a one to one ratio, or is it? I'm getting my yeah. It is a three to one ratio. I thought that we could even draw my. I just warned I had more coal. I did. Um, I did get nether coal. What? How does that? Is it a smelting recipe? You know what? I'm just gonna borrow some of this. I need to. I should just get charcoal. Charcoal is easy. But uh, all right. So there we go. We got our last furnace. That's slowly. Obviously, blocks are doing nine at one, so it's slower than it's doing an ingot. But uh, aloe kiln is pretty cool because we can get bronze ingots. I don't know. Constantine. I don't know if this is like required, but yeah. Bronze, Invar, Electrum, Constantine. So not a huge ton of uses, but I do remember using it. So there is that. All right. Lapis Lazuli, Ring of Haste, Blaze Sword. All right, well, we don't have any uh, Blaze. Does that not go? I was hoping that would go in the ring slot. Put that in there. Yep, don't have any Blaze Powder. 
I'm assuming, or blaze rods, I'm assuming. Um, Lapis Lazuli can probably be chiseled back into, yeah. I'll throw it in, I don't know, there, so we can chisel it back. So, question is, we got, we got a pretty cool advanced solar generator. So, I, I'm like, do we want to do water wheels, or... Man, I really want to push for mech, kind of. Osmium, Osmium block, steel mechanical, yeah. We'll probably do... That way is probably the best. Let's grab a... Yeah, let's grab a... What is it? Engineer's Bench or whatever it's called. Let me check the sound. I think... The uh, music sounded a bit loud. Yeah, engineer's bench. Treated wood planks, treated wood fence, and a crafty table. I have some of those. Probably need sticks. What's the treated wood fence? Ah, uh, treated sticks, which is that? I already forgot what it was. Yeah. Oh, we need more. Dang it, we need more uh, treated wood. Right. Is that uh, engineers? Crafting table, that's right. And there we go with that. All right, so we'll just I guess, throw that down right there. All right, um, yeah, so there is that. Ooh, we'll mark it, nice. That is, that's really cool. Man, some of these, uh, these loot chests are pretty, pretty good, to be honest. Um, here it comes. <laughs> that cracks me up. Yeah, we can buy any seed we want for emeralds, obviously. Um, seeds, saplings, other. Trimmer leaf, grape seeds. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Just curious if. Oh yeah, olive. You can buy olives too. Lots of emeralds though. So, all right, that is helpful because we have a village right here. I can get emeralds if we need. If I don't get, uh, I need like spice leaf. And uh, yeah. Oh look, it spread. And it's I only put one down, didn't it? All right, they do spread. Nice. All right, come on, soggy garden. Let's spread. All right. Um, yeah, so next episode, we'll continue to progress a little bit. I do need to get some engineers stuff. So we need blue dye. We need probably steel plate would probably be the easiest, to be honest. Um, we got just lapis paper. Pretty easy. Still waiting on the block of iron to pretty steel, but uh, yeah, I think uh, we're going to push into Mechanism as soon as we can, I think. The uh, first time I ended up playing, we kind of went the Industrial Craft way, but uh, although Industrial Craft, you can get the you, you matter. Hmm. All right. I need to do some thinking here, but uh, I also need to sleep because it is nighttime and we got mob spawning. All right, but that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.